Former US President Donald Trump posted on Twitter, now X, for the first time in two years. Can you tell me what he posted? What is X? What's that? Well, there was a thing called Twitter, Nana, and... <laughs> <laughs> and Twitter got bought by a man called Elon Musk, who's a bit like Iron Man. OK. And then, and then he changed the name to X. OK. So it's now called X? It's now called X. You ever met Elon Musk, Jimmy? Yeah, of course. Have you, honestly? Yeah. Some wizard party or something, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> <laughs> I they yeah, I mean... <laughs> we, we played a game of, uh, you know the game, uh, kind of, Mafia, like Wink Murder? Hang on, you were at a party? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get in? <laughs> and what term was coined off the back of the Barbie movie? Is it time to pull out the Polish handmade uh, cherry brandy? It is. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. <laughs> Guys, is there if anyone wants it? Can I can I try some? Handmade by my friend. I want them, some. I love you. Oh, oh I have it. Now, oh, she did... you're going to wake up in a dumpster. Right. <laughs> Rosie, do you want some? It's nice. Yeah. Good. Rosie oh. and I would like some. Queen. It's very sweet yeah. though. Oh yeah, I know. You would imagine. Jimmy, do you want a little shot I'm, I'm I'm cutting right down on cherry brandy. Okie dokes. <laughs> Jimmy only drinks WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you what TV moment of the year upset viewers. What did you all think it was? Pip Schofield leaving. Oh. Oh, no, it wasn't. Based no. on a video game. <laughs> oh, oh, based on a video game? Yeah. Well, we right, also rewind. Jimmy Carr live and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the name of any one of my specials. <laughs> well, no one's been laughing. <laughs> Curse you. I asked you to fill in the blanks on the Liam Gallagher post. What did you reckon? When Twitter changed to like X or whatever, yeah. he had to pay for a blue tick. Maybe that says blue okay. tick. So blue tick, and then the third one? Absurd rhymes with, I'm going to guess, turd. I don't know the, I'm guessing. It sounds great in your voice, though. Turd. Absurd. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly the right answer. Did you get this, Rosie Catherine? Yes, we did. Blue tick turd. <laughs> Are you calling me a blue tick turd? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Richard, Mel? Fibre optic broadband. <laughs> when speeds are already fine. <laughs> Can I just say, we also put blue tick we after blue our tick. silly answer. Yes. We put blue tick. Yeah. And did you put turd or...? No. OK. Does anybody actually still say X? No. No-one has ever said I think MD, it's... I still think it's hard to call <clears throat> Prince Charles the king. <clears throat> Yeah. I mean, mm. I still see him as Prince Charles, I think he's just... I have that with Marathon and Snickers. For me, it's always a marathon. Yeah. It'll never be Sif, yeah. it'll always be Jif. Exactly. What about blooming opal fruits that now call themselves... Starbucks. 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 Yeah, that's... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> yes, it was, of course, blue ticks and turd. Lovely. And finally, I asked you what the BBC news host was describing when she did this. What do you think? We, we've gone with lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse? What have you gone for, Richard Mel? Uh, Jason Statham's testicle. <laughs> just, just one of them. The other one goes in the sidecar. <laughs> uh, Mo, Kevin, what have, you, what have you got for this? There was, like, a superman, but apparently one of them was blue. Oh, yeah. And it was it happened twice quite close together. Yeah. So that yeah. expression, once in a blue moon, is a lot more kind of frequent than you'd actually think. It was the closest full moon of the year, a blue supermoon. The next one won't be till 2037. Wow. wow. So that's not that long for that expression. Yeah. So that's got to be terminated then. Once in a blue moon means every 14 years. <laughs> Look, Jimmy files his tax return once in a blue moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Elon Musk joined Joe Rogan on his podcast back in October. What was he talking about? I think it was challenging Mark Zuckerberg to a nerd fight. He <laughs> was definitely challenging someone to a fight. That's the, that's the right answer. Yeah. 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 But I thought he could have been talking about playing one murder with you. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Mel. I put he was going to climb inside himself, which I'd say it's a... I would like to see that. <laughs> OK, so uh, what did you guys get for this, Mo, Kevin? You can read, mate. Uh, not from... <laughs> not from there, I can't. <laughs> A bare-bum boxing match with Jimmy Carr. 
What fashion trend reminded people of Astro Boy, Ronald McDonald and Dora the Explorer's best friend? What do you think? That was the, uh, the big red boots. Damn. The big red boots? How does Mo Gilligan know that? Okay, uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Catherine, Rosie? <laughs> Big red boots! Uh, and did you get this, Mel? Well, I put knee, we, we put yeah, knee, knee-high boots knee and then high red. Boots. Did you say red? Yes. Yeah. OK, it was the fashion brand Mischief released their big red boots. I'll model them for you. Ooh. These are the big red boots. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a oh, strong wow. look, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like how Snoopy's changed. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the real boots? Yeah, those are the real boots. What are you going to do with them after the show? I'll buy them I'll... off you. You'll buy them off me? Yeah, I'll, I'll buy them off you. They're, they're cold. You can have them. Oh, for free? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. You it's, know... It's called a tax write-off. 